So what we're going to look at next is providing the users with an option to order the results that are returned from the API. So we'll give them two options in this case. We'll allow them to sort by newest members first and also the most recently active. We have those two properties as part of our users, the created date and last active date. So we'll use those to demonstrate ordering in this particular case. So let's head back to VS Code and we'll go back to our user params in our API. So our user params.cs and we'll add another property and this is going to be a string property called order by. And we won't give this any default value, but in our dating repository, let's go to our get users method. And we always want to provide a default ordering. And we haven't done so, so far, but where we're returning our users, just after the include, we'll add an order by, and we'll order by descending. And the expression in here will say user goes to you dot last active. And this will sort the users by most recently active first. But obviously we want, we want to give the users a choice in this. So let's head back down below the if statement we're using to check the age. And what we'll check in this case is we'll check to see if string is null or empty or is not null or empty in this case. And we'll say user params dot order by. And we'll take an action if this is completed and passed up as a query string parameter. So just to change things around a little bit, I'll just use a switch statement instead of yet another if statement. And we'll switch on the user params dot order by. And in the first case, we'll check the created. So if the user params dot order by is set to created, then we're going to return the users ordered by the created date. So we'll say users equals users dot order by descending. And in this expression, we'll say you goes to you dot created. And we've only got one other option in this case. So we'll add the break and then we'll say case or not case in this case, we'll say default and we'll say users equals users dot order by descending. And we'll just say you goes to you dot last active. And again, we'll add the break statement. So that's all we need to do for our ordering and we can go and test this in Postman now. So let's head back there and I'll just get a new token for Lola and just log in as Lola again. I'll just copy this into my clipboard and I'll head on over to another tab and just update the bearer token. And I'll send a request to get all of the users and this should be ordered automatically now by last active. So I'll click on send. And I get the user Bruce with ID of 12. Now, this is the most recent user that I created. So hence the reason the last active date is the most recent. Then Bob was the next one and Lloyd was the next one. But it's kind of difficult to see on here because these users last active date is going to be the same as their created date because they were set at the same time. So I'm just going to swap the gender for to female in this case because I've logged in a couple of times with different female users and Reba's at the top of the list and has a last active date of July 2018 and all the rest are set to their active date. So it's, it's kind of difficult to see in here, but we should be able to see at least in this particular example, if I change the order by to created. So I add the ampersand and add the order by equals created and I'll click send. And we can see that Anne Marie was the most recently created user with July 2017 and Reba's created user was June 2017. So a small difference, but it's like I say, it's almost quite difficult to tell because of the data that we have inside our application, but it is working. So what we'll do next is add this functionality into our Angular application.